Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Brady and you are watching 1MS TV. Now what is holding me up are the all new RP280 floor standing speakers by Kalipsch. Now when it comes to home theater, sometimes bigger is better. All that next. What you guys see behind me are the 280s by Kalipsch. And again, they are large and in charge and they make no apologies whatsoever. And I think that's one of the many reasons why I do like them because the sound imaging is phenomenal. Especially when you're watching movies or even listening to any genre of music. Here's a comparison of the 280s as well as the 260s. One thing that hasn't changed are the copper tone drivers, which Kalipsch fans will definitely recognize. Now, as you can see around back, there is a place to connect your wires as well as a port to reinforce base. And let's not forget the build quality and the finishing on this beautiful product. In the beginning, I had the 260s, which they are phenomenal. They definitely hold their own, but Granted, these 280s are bigger and obviously the sound, the imaging would be uh, a lot better. Uh, but again, uh, the 260s, I decided to put them in the back for surrounds and uh, keep the fronts uh, with the 280s just so that they can uh, project more uh, um to it. The source of my system is the Pioneer Elite SC85 9.2 channel. And I chose this receiver because it has a very neutral sound. And this is my workhorse, the Emotiva XPA5. You definitely want to have power on top when needed. The center channel that you're seeing here is the Calypso RP440C an amazing center channel by all accounts. As you can see here, these are the Kalipsch KRSW1210 reference speaker cables, 12 gauge. The Kalipsch has a sparkly top end and a ton of bass, and I don't want my receiver to add too much to that. And part of the amazing sound that the system is putting out, provided by the bass with the Kalipsch SW112 inch. It is deep and guttural. It shakes you, it shakes the room. The Bose 161s are great for the Atmos experience. And as you can see back here, I use the Mirage 150s for my surround sounds. Fantastic sonic performance. Up high, this is the VPL HW40ES by Sony. What good is the image if you can't project quality? We have the Pioneer BDP85FD Elite Blu-ray player. An amazing Blu-ray player by all means. Now, again, you don't have to have these speakers cranked all the way up to enjoy them. You can have the volume low as possible and it sounds as though if someone's talking to you right across the table from you, which is quite impressive. In essence, the whole purpose of having Adobe Atmo set up in your home is to experience what the director intended you to feel. Now, granted, if the sound engineers aren't up to the task, it doesn't matter what system you have, simply put, it will not sound great at all. Which is why I believe that Klipsch is on the same frequency in delivering the best sound possible, no matter the source. In other words, it's a keeper.